This battery is cheap, easy to set up, has a huge capacity, a small footprint, and it's from a reliable brand and is UL rated, which means it's safe. And it has a 10 year warranty. I don't think there's anything on the market like this. I think it's gonna completely redefine the battery industry. Hey guys, I'm Kelly and this is Minivan Camper Gal and I make videos about gadgets for the van and cooking in the van and camping in the van. So hit the subscribe button if that interests you. So I've been taking a break from reviewing power stations, but I saw this one and I couldn't pass it up because I'm telling you, this is perfect for minivan campers. So some of the reviews I've done before were for power stations. These were all-in-one stations that included the battery, the solar charge controller, and the inverter. If that's confusing for you, uh, check out my intro to solar power video, where I break everything down for you. So power stations are really easy to work with, but they're pretty expensive, and once the battery gets used up, you have to just recycle the whole thing. It's also tough to get a lot of power without either buying a really big station that takes up a lot of room, or buying several individual stations. I've been using several power stations, but then I have to keep up with, you know, which one needs charging, um, where I'm gonna store each one, all of that sort of thing. So that's definitely one way to go. The second way is to create your own system. Buy the batteries by themselves, then install a solar charge controller, wire up the USB plugs with fuses, etc. I'm looking at doing this myself, and I'm not gonna lie, it's a little intimidating. It's crucial that you do it the right way, but the advantage is you can get much more power for cheaper. But now, there exists something in between. So this is the Dr. Prepare 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, which is about 1200 watt hours, or two of those 600 watt power stations and it's about the same size. So this is a normal, just the battery, with, you see the terminals here, just like you would build your own custom system. But, check this out. It has this little connector on top. So this is all of your solar charge controller, your, all of your outputs that you'll need, this is everything that you would have to wire up yourself. It has your Anderson power pole connectors to plug in your solar panel with, uh, your USB connectors. So this turns this regular 100 amp hour battery essentially into a power station. How cool is this? So uh, for about the same price as a 600 watt power station, or a little less, really. This is $399, and I think I'm gonna have a discount code for you as well. You can get twice the amount of battery, and the same footprint. You're not storing twice the size of the battery. So let me tell you a little bit more about this. So this little hub is really the uh, real magic of this thing. So like I said, it has DC in, the Anderson connector, your two USB ports, um, they are fast charging if you use only one at a time. It has a USB-C port, but the USB-C port is only 30 watts. It's not 60 watts. So you can't charge your laptop or like a CPAP machine with this. Uh, and then this is a DC out barrel plug, not DC in. You can't plug your solar panels in here. And a DC out outlet. You'll notice there is no inverter in this. So if you wanted to plug in your uh, regular wall AC plug, you don't have that. But I'm gonna show you a workaround. You can buy an inverter that plugs in with a cigarette lighter plug. So this is a 300 watt inverter. Um, and this can plug into the DC port. And now, voila, you can run your AC items. So I bought this for $57 off Amazon, and I was able to charge my MacBook computer, which takes about 40 watts. 
I also plugged in my Starlink internet, and that takes about 40 watts, and it powered that just fine too. But I tried plugging in my Dash rice cooker, which takes about 175 watts, but the battery management system kicked off, and it wouldn't run it. It also kicked off when I tried to run 120 watts. So you don't need a 300 watt inverter. So you'd probably be fine with a 100 watt inverter, maybe a 150 watt inverter. If you want to see how many watts your computer needs, you can buy a little watt meter. My computer uses drastically different amounts based on how many programs are running and whether the battery is fully charged. Another option might be to not bring your laptop at all and just use an iPad or another tablet. The USB-C plug does provide up to 30 watts and an iPad only needs 20, so that could be an option for you. If they could put a 60 watt power delivery port and a 20 amp cigarette lighter, I think that would really make a huge difference for its usability. But, you know, maybe they will because this battery will last at least 10 years. Since the hub is totally separate, it seems like, you know, they're gonna be able to upgrade the technology as it advances without having to buy a whole new setup. So that's really cool. And one more thing, if you do choose to get an inverter, just make sure you pay the extra money for a pure sine wave inverter. Okay, hang on. I wanna make sure I don't misrepresent the battery here. Uh, just because you can't plug in uh, the 300 watt inverter into the hub does not mean that the battery won't support a bigger inverter. You could totally buy a regular 1000 watt inverter and hook it up to the battery using the battery cables. So the battery itself is just like any regular uh, battery. You can build a whole system off of it if you want. But I just wanted to make sure that you know that uh, if you do need more power out of that battery, you can totally pull it out. You just have to do a little bit more um, hooking up yourself. Okay, so now let's talk about some details. This is not your no-name cheap battery. The batteries inside are made by Renogy, and it has passed UL testing. This is something I'm really happy with. I've been a little concerned with all the cheap lithium-ion batteries I have in my van. Lithium iron can catch on fire, especially if they get hot. And sometimes I'm camping in really sensitive forest areas. So I did a little research and the advice I found was to make sure your batteries are UL rated. But this type of battery, lithium iron phosphate, is much safer and can withstand higher temperatures and doesn't have the problem of catching on fire. Here on the front panel, it even says the operation temperature is up to 140 degrees. So you can even still be using this. In the Southwest, when my van's just parked, I have seen my van get up to about 165, and that was in like 117 degree weather. So 140 degrees, I think you'll be totally fine keeping it in your car, you know, as long as you're in reasonable temperatures. The battery management system inside is made by Texas Instruments, another reputable brand. It's about 14 inches by 8 by 7 inches, and it weighs 28 pounds. And this is one of the only batteries out there that has built-in hot charging protection and cold protection. So you can feel confident that even if you don't know what you're doing, you're not going to mess this thing up. It has a lot of safeguards in place. The battery itself has a button where you can easily see the charge state. One light means 1 to 25 percent. Four lights means 76 to 100 percent. The battery is water resistant and flame resistant. It comes with a carrying strap, battery mounting hardware, and a user manual. There's also, get this, a 10-year warranty on this battery. That's really good. There are some other YouTube channels that tested out the capacity. My favorite is Hobotech. And he shows that the battery does indeed have 100 amp hours, even when used with this hub. The only bad thing I could find about this battery was about this hub. Some people said it burned out prematurely. Um, if I was going to rely on this in the woods for a month, 
I might buy an extra hub just in case. But the hub does have a 12-month warranty if anything goes wrong. Perhaps those bad reviews were from people plugging in their laptops, though, and using it incorrectly. It does say it will get hot if it's being used at full load for a long time, and it has this warning on here that says using 7 to 10 amps for an hour will trigger a high temperature protection. For reference, my Alpacool freezer only takes about 4 amps, so I should be able to run that for a really long time with no overheating. So to charge the battery, I can just hook my portable solar panel up, and it starts charging. Unfortunately, I can't monitor the watts coming in and the exact charge state, like I can with the power stations with a screen, but the green light comes on to let me know it's receiving power. The other way you can charge the battery is with a battery charger. Just make sure you can charge lithium batteries with it. I got the wrong charger at first. <laughs> and this is the second charger that I got. Uh, it is for lithium phosphate, but it's only 4 amps. So I got another one, which is 20 amps, which will charge it much faster. And you want to make sure the connectors will fit around the terminals. And third time's the charm. This charger actually looks pretty nice. You can change between 5 amp, 10 amp, and 20 amp, and you can change the battery. So if you have this, you can use it as a backup or to charge your battery before you go on a trip. Okay, and let's do a true price comparison. So this is a very popular power station, the Jackery 500. It has 518 watt hours and a 500 watt inverter. In comparison, if you were to buy the battery, a battery charger, and a small inverter that plugs into the hub, the cheapest one I could find that was a pure sine wave inverter was about $41. Your total would be $472 for 1200 watt hours. And if you wanted to go ahead and upgrade the inverter and hook it up directly, your price would be essentially the same as the Jackery for more than double the battery capacity for about the same size. And you could even go to a 1000 watt inverter for only about $30 more. This thing is small enough that I can store it underneath my floorboards or maybe in the back storage with some extension cables for the plugs. I just love that this thing can replace two 600 watt power stations. To get the discount on the battery, go to drprepare.com, click on power supply, and click on this one. You're looking for the one with this connector on the top, the UL rating, and the 10 year warranty. Then select the battery plus hub. When you go to checkout, enter this code for a discount. So let me know in the comments what you think about this, and let me know what sort of battery system do you have? Do you have your system totally figured out, or are you still planning your system? If this was helpful to you, please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you on the next video.